in a world full of dirty minds. Who will clean them? And who will be our hero? It's a small school, but it's the source of a lot of trouble. The halls are filled to the brim with chaos, but there is one man looking to end it all. There's one man looking for justice. Oh I'm Officer God. Davey so June Waters. Uh, I used to be a cop, and that all got murky because I got a family and such, so I stopped for a little while there. And uh, as you can tell from my uh, voice, I am from Chicago. We call it the Coggers. And uh, you know me, I want to get back in the game, be a detective, you know. Uh, what else is there? Oh, as you can tell, I put on a few pounds, huh? Can blame that on my wife, Debbie, huh? <laughs> Trying to fill me up. Maybe she wants to eat me. <laughs> um, uh, let's see. So today we're going to be doing three cases. Uh, case one, we're going to try to find illegal immigrants throughout the halls of Horseheads High School. Uh, case two, we're going to be trying to find a, a bunch of wallets, uh, stolen wallets. Uh, there's a wallet thief running around. And case three, I do have reason to believe that there is a vape meeting in the bathroom. So yeah, stay tuned for those. Uh, we're hoping to catch some perps and lock them up for a long time. All right, buddy boy. When he was just seven years old, Officer Davy June Waters lost his father to a gunman. Ever since then, he vowed to eliminate crime and serve justice. Today, we are at Horseheads High School, where our officer will attempt to break the cycle. He says, that there's a lot of trouble going on around these halls and he wants to put his fist through it. He says that he can eliminate crime from this school forever. And if he can, it'll look a lot cleaner. Because in regarding this, he said, quote, it could use a little cleaning up. And so my main problem with this school is there's a lot of lawlessness. There's a lot of bullying, there's a lot of nonsense, and there's a lot of horseplay going on. You know what I'm talking about, coaches? Anyway, uh, so yeah, I've just come to uh, rid the school of its toxin, its poison, and its uttermost poop. And so right now, I'm on my way to solve some crimes and bust some rhymes. <laughs> We're gonna go bust some illegal immigrants right now. Come on. Hey, hey, buddy boy. I got a report that you're illegal. What do you have to say about that, pal? No abilities. You see that? He doesn't even speak our English language. Pal, you're coming with me. Just kidding, I can't touch you. But I do want you to apologize for being illegal. Uh, Lo siento, or however you people like to say it. Gracias, senor. You can be well on your way. That's a step in the right direction. Case one, we got a little Spanish rice cooker. We put them away for a long time. Down the drain, we got that one. Case two, we gotta find our buddy boy who's been stealing the wallets of other horse anti schoolians. So let's roll. For while you're reaching in your pocket, pal. So I needed a piece of gum. Did you? Mm hmm. What kind of gum is that? Five. Five? Mm -hmm. Is that a flavor? One six coming out, huh? <laughs> That's what I thought. What else you got in your pocket there? My keys. Your keys? To what? The car. To your car. What else you got in your pocket there, buddy boy? My wallet. Your wallet, huh? Mm -hmm. This is your wallet? Mm hmm. Can I take a can I take a peek? Sure. Butterino. Hmm. That's interesting. Because if you look here, this doesn't look like you at all, buddy. Look at that. Who's this poor innocent kid you're picking on, huh? I don't know. This isn't your wallet. You clearly stole it. And I'm demanding an apology. Or else you're gonna get locked away for a long time. Hey buddy boy, buddy boy, you better apologize. We're going away for a long time. I'm gonna turn the sink on if you don't apologize, huh? I'm sorry. Yeah. Now say it again like a little girl. I'm sorry. Yeah. Get your scum out of here. This is going in the evidence locker, and you're going away, pal. Later right. that day, Officer Davy June Waters hacked into a conversation between two local students at Horseheads High School and found out they were meeting in the bathroom to vape. 
Let's roll. Last case of the day. Let's go check for vapors. Come on. got two cases out of three cases solved. I'd say that's a pretty good first day back on the job, but we detected those detectives, eh? And so I'm probably just gonna go home to my beautiful wife, Debbie, my beautiful kids. I'm not gonna tell you their names. I don't want them to get raped by hooligans. And uh, so, yeah, I'd say pretty good. I'm gonna get some good sleep, have some uh, thick crust pizza. You know, I'm from Chicago. And uh, get some good nighty night sleep. Uh, I sleep head to toe. And I hope you do too. Anyway, this has been Harry. Officer, excuse me, sir. Could you please quiet down over there? I'm filming a TV show over here. Thanks, partner. Anyway, this has been Officer Davey June Waters. And Dingleberry. this has been, you know what? You say Dinkleberg one more time. I'm going to Dinkle your bird, pal. Dingleberg. Anyway, just cut the film. Despite missing out on perhaps the biggest plague of the school, I'd have to say it was a pretty successful day for Officer Davey June Waters. He didn't get everyone he wanted to, but we knew he was going to be a little rusty from the start. Overall, two out of three thoughts detected ain't half bad. We'll catch you next time on The Thought Detective.